session three of how Jesus changed the world. And another way that he changed the world is to bring compassion. Now this might sound a little bit self-evident in our society because our heritage is basically Christian. We know that Jesus' life was one of compassion. He healed people, he fed them, he taught them about the love of God. To see the difference that Christianity has made in the world, we can look at India because the major religion in India is Hinduism. And one of the basic tenets of Hinduism is reincarnation. That is the belief that when you die, you'll come back as something or someone else. And what you come back on depends on how you live this life. What this leads to is a lack of compassion. If you're at the bottom of the social rung, well, it's your own fault. It's up to you to live a decent life so that you can come back as something a little bit higher up the scale. So there's no compassion there for a person's situation. Now, women in India still do have a fairly low place. One Hindu tradition was that when a man died, his wife was to be burnt on his funeral pyre with him. And after a case of a, an 18 year old widow being forced to burn herself with her husband's funeral pyre, a law was introduced that banned that. But that brought tremendous demonstration by the Hindus who wanted that law overturned. Because in their way of thinking, there's no compassion for that young woman. Then in India too, there's also the practice of leaving baby girls out to die because boys were more important. And the practice of exposing them to the elements has died out a bit, but in its place, ultrasounds give them the opportunity to practice what they would call selective abortion. But there are also many girls abandoned by their families still. And our church is supporting a Christian mission called Mukti. And they take in these abandoned girls. They give them an education, a home, an education. And when they get to marriageable age, the prospective groom is very carefully vetted by the mission so that they make sure that she's going to have a good marriage by someone who will really care for her. It also takes in some older women because sometimes the men will put their wives out on the street after the children have grown up. They say, thanks, you've done your job, um, off you go. And these women have nowhere to go. And so the, the um, Mukti mission has taken them in as well. It's Christianity that opposes these actions and reaches out to the people who are abandoned, disabled, outcast, whatever. It's interesting that all the depictions of Hindu gods, they have weapons, whereas Jesus is seen as love incarnate. So the battle between the compassion of Christianity and the complete lack of compassion is most marked in India, but it does exist all around the world. Jesus showed the extent of his love by first living this life without any privileges, but also by giving that life for our sake. And that's real love, when someone will give their life for the sake of another. So if Jesus has done this for each one of us, then we're called to have that same compassion for our fellow human beings. Colossians 3.16 says, Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly, and his message is love for all. There is an everlasting
beneath the cross of 